I am George Malone, honours student at Curtin University and a palsy summer intern for 2023-24. My project aimed to optimise a short tandem repeat analysis pipeline to model and minimise cost in the commercial cloud platform. A short tandem repeat, or STR, is a region of the genome made up of small motifs repeated end-to-end. STRs are considered harmless in non-functional regions of the genome, but are known to cause neurological and developmental disorders if present in functional regions. These diseases, hence STRs, are linked to phenotypes such as white matter hyperintensities in brain MRI. This association could be leveraged for medical diagnostics. Due to the highly variable nature of STRs between individuals, an individual likely has a unique signature which can be used for identification, suggesting forensic applications. The overall aims of this project were to construct, configure, and optimize a computational pipeline for STR analysis, then test and model the pipeline to optimize computation, and build a model for estimating runtime of a given set of samples. Ultimately, we aim to minimize the cost of analysis in the UK Biobank Research Analysis Platform, a commercial cloud platform containing our target data for the final analysis. Three main tools are used to achieve these aims, Nextflow, Gangster, and Nimbus. Nextflow is a system for orchestrating complex, interdependent computational pipelines. Gangster is currently the foremost toolkit for short tandem repeat analysis and is the main computational component. Nimbus is the cloud service offered by the Palsy Supercomputing Research Center and the main environment in which the pipeline was tested and developed. Shown here is a diagram of the per-sample workflow within the Nextflow pipeline. Gangster tasks run in parallel for all combinations of sample and chromosome, including for multiple samples simultaneously. Within each sample, the results per chromosome are concatenated and indexed, then the two files are bundled together. Gangster tasks were dependent only on input file size and on chromosome, shown here. Downstream tasks and memory usage were non-zero, but were not dependent on any measured factor. Memory usage was not a concern, as it was far below the minimum available memory per core. Shown here are the cost estimates for 40,000 randomly simulated samples against CPU count and grouped by virtual machine superclass. This number of samples was selected to reflect the final analysis. Costs within each VM superclass are almost identical because of the method for determining hourly usage costs in the UK Biobank. The rate is multiplied by the number of cores in use. Because there are many more tasks than cores, the limiting factor is the number of cores. Costs differ due to the penalty term for the trailer task, but differences are not visible on this scale. The VM class with the shortest wall time is in the top right. To run this setup would take only 112 days, but would cost over £16,000. The most affordable setup, in the bottom left corner, is under £2,331, but takes over 19 and a half years. The best trade-off is the farthest to the right in the lower band. This option costs only 60 pence more than the cheapest option, probably due to the trailer task penalty, and takes just under 150 days. In conclusion, I was able to write and optimize a Nextflow pipeline for short tandem repeat analysis and build a model for estimating cost of analyses in the UK Biobank Research Analysis Platform. Future work includes small-scale testing to validate cost estimates. A recent development is an open and maintainable container definition for running analyses within Nextflow and other systems. This internship was valuable to me as a student and researcher, allowing me to learn about new areas of genomics and computer science and further sharpen existing skills, such as academic communications. Additionally, the income has helped with cost of living pressures in these times, allowing me to dedicate more time to the work. I would like to take a moment to recognize some previous work in this area by Rick Tankard and Joseph Cigar, which gave the proof of concept for developing the pipeline. Also, I thank the Palsy Supercomputing Research Center for giving me the opportunity to gain the skills and experience crucial to my current field of research. And to my family. Yes, you too, little Ola. Tusen tak.